Edward Stern uh, is uh, used to be the richest man in France, right? Uh, mm -hmm. He was killed back in 2005, and now his mistress, her name is Cécile Broussard, has come out, and she's uh, admit to killing him. Mm -hmm. Basically, this is a crazy scandal story. Yep. Uh, she was his mistress, and he had promised to marry her and uh, basically make her financially independent by providing a million dollars in an account for her, mm -hmm. right? So one night, they're about to have sex, and they would have kinky sex, like sex games and sure. uh, whatever. So uh, well, If you're going to have a mistress, uh, why not go all the way and have fun kinky games? Right. So, so one night, he's dressed in a latex suit, and uh, uh, obviously. they get into a discussion about the $1 million account. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he already made the account for her. I don't know why he said this to her, but they're about to sleep together, and he says, $1 million for a whore? That's expensive. Uh, that apparently was the wrong thing to say when you're tied up in a latex. He was tied up. Right. I mean, he's gimping out, mm -hmm. right? And she's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Hold on, let me go get a gun and come back and uh, tell you what I think of that comment. Right. Oh. Well, she shot him, and now she's saying that she shot him in a fit of rage and that she was really in love with him, and the fact that she, she knew he wasn't going to marry her drove her crazy. So it, it was says, a crime of passion. That's right. She says, this wasn't about the money. I was just mad that the fact that he didn't give me the million dollars led me to believe that he doesn't love me. Right. And so that's why I shot him in the face. See, first of all, I don't really care at all. Like, I don't care why you shot him. I don't care if it was a crime effect. Look, see, that's one of the things that drives me crazy. When they come and make arguments like, no, but I had a good reason for shooting. No, you didn't. Here's my reason that you're going to spend the rest of your life in jail, because you shot him and he's dead. Okay. And you're cr cry me a river, you're a mistress, you didn't get your million dollars, you were in love, it was a crime of passion. It's impossible, impossible for me to give less of a fuck. Okay, no, you're done. So, and France, I think, is so lenient. She's going to get 20 years. That dude doesn't get 20 years. He doesn't get his life back. Right. He's dead in a gimp outfit. And that's how they discover him. She runs away, mm -hmm. and then, you know, God knows, then his family has to see him in the gimp outfit with a hole in his head. No, 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 she's super max. Colorado, next to the Unabomber. Her quotes are so funny. Um, after he told her one million is expensive for a whore, she says, that made everything explode in my head, heart, and mind. Like a robot, I went to the drawer, get the gun. Oh, I went to get the gun from the drawer. Oh, please. Yeah, okay. I mean, if it was one thing you had the gun in your hand, then you go get it, and you're like, la da da da, -da. And my guess is, as to how this actually went down is, she's like, give me a million dollars or I'll kill you. And he said, piss off. No, I'm not going to give it to you. And then she shot him in the head. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, crime and passion. Look, you're a $1 million whore. Okay, let's keep it real. And now kill her. And by the way, I know she's in France and hence not going to wind up in Colorado. Just calm down. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So, but, you know, I, I think that's clear. What I do find interesting, though, is that the rich are almost always in latex outfits. No, but I'm serious. Whenever we do a story about someone who's super rich and in, caught in some sort of sex scandal, it's never normal. It's always right. like they're hanging from the ceiling, mm -hmm. they're in a rubber suit, they're a gimp, you know, they're with three mm -hmm. trannies. Something. They're tied up like Jesus. Yeah, there's always something, right? Mm -hmm. They're in a sex cave, you know, they, it's, I, they must get bored. Uh, look, I get it. You know, we, I don't have the privilege of being like, man, I have tried everything. Bring out the gimp outfit, right? <laughs> I I am not there. So now I, now I'm all of a sudden I'm happy that I'm not there, right? Uh -huh. But they must have done all that stuff, and they get bored, and they're like, all right, okay, you know, send in the gimps. Probably, I don't know. And then anytime we find out about it, it's because they found, found, wound up dead mm -hmm. in one of those outfits. You remember that guy who died, who had hung himself, was in a latex outfit, you know, the plastic stuff, the little the gimp outfit. And had the banana stuck up his ass? I don't remember that story. That was a killer story, man. That was like, that guy topped everyone. Did we do that story? or I, 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 uh, We did it on the too. show. Uh, I don't know. It was a while back. Was he a Republican? It was something. Like, yeah, I think it might have been. But I'm not positive. And that he was found dead? Yeah. He's like hanging with like a banana hanging out of his ass. You know, like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Like, when you have the banana in your ass and you're hanging from the ceiling, you know you've gone too far. It's not a tough standard. <laughs> I try to keep it reasonable. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, so when they say, hey, should I put the banana? You, should, you know what? I watched it on TYT. That's a little too far, <laughs> they told me. Man, people live. Uh, That's such a bad way to go.
It, it, oh, can you imagine? <laughs> and his family discovers him. <laughs> I, I don't remember the story at all. It's so funny. Yeah, no, I think about that dude every once in a while. <laughs> I mean, you wonder about the like that is as bad as it gets in a way to go. Oof.